all because of you. I don't think you can blame me for that. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a gigolo, how much would you charge? You know, I'd eat, I'd eat that out for days. But I got Nando's, fucking shit chicken, get to Nabsy's. I went out and got fucking absolutely wankered, lad. Like blackout drunk. And um, it's not like you. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want from me? <laughs> Fuck off! You've heard that, haven't you? Everyone, you say, "Oh, watch out, Jamie Hutchinson." <laughs> Fuck off, lads! He dances like Neo. <laughs> we we did, back in the didn't day. say the second part. <laughs> <laughs> Taking advantage of vulnerable women. Yeah, or men. Nothing like that. Hey, hey, yeah. Come on, hey. on. twenty twenty two. Fucking grow up. There it he is. He can sell. A crime's a foot. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Need some grease. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I not told you about the beans. I don't push. I only pull big fat birds. No, she left me in depression. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you're a fit bird, but you've got fat ankles. And ah, you like drizzle. No, don't stop forcing drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be jealous of kids with asthma. We got an old eye hospital. Have you? Yeah? Wow. You are the bollocks, aren't you? <laughs> 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 Fractured both my wrists at the same oh, time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. Fucking jive, oh. baby. He's literally ruining families twice, isn't he, really? I wish we'd just scratch the surface of that story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's What's Happening Fairies. Thanks for downloading this week's episode. Before we get into it, we just want to let you know, we're now on Patreon. Yes, so from just £3 a month, you can support the podcast. You'll get a bonus episode each week, and early access to our public episodes. For a few quid more, you get loads of great bonuses, including discount on merch, Badges, sign posters. Tony, where can they get on Patreon? You'll find us on patreon.com slash hotwatersgreenroom. Hello everyone, welcome to Hot Waters Green Room Podcast with me, Tony Cannell. Yes, Jamie Hutchinson, co-pilot. And Hello. today. Oh, <laughs> we hinted at it, did you pick the hints up? Try as your when, eyes, mate. When we try <laughs> me a river. Um, we, we're going to try and get a big guest on. Oh. Try No one got it. Stephen tries. thank you for coming Thank down. you for having me. Woo! Yes. Great hints as yeah. well. Oh, Thank you, really sir. Good, mate. When did you drop those like Easter eggs? Uh, when you cancelled and we we, we didn't slack you off as such. No, that's, <laughs> fair. That's, fair. that's fair. That was a different Stephen. <laughs> no, we didn't. it was behind the paywall. If you want to see that episode, welcome, mate. Thank you very much for coming down. Thank you for having me. I've uh, never been here before. I can't believe I've not been here before, mate. What no, you want to avoid them? I just don't see the appeal. <laughs> 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 oh, that laughter house, are you? That's <laughs> it, yeah, with, uh, what's his name? Kenzie. I don't know. Kenzie. <laughs> oh, we I did laughter house so. together. Oh, dear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did you do laughter house together? Yeah, you might, have seen, you might have seen the footage on Crime Watch where I was fucking <laughs> robbed. Julia Chamberlain, you fucking rat. So you think you're funny? 2014. <laughs> fucking robbery, lad. Have you still many gigs together? We did, we did, uh, did a, quite a few, yeah. Did King Gong together. I did oh, fucking yeah. Sunday and Monday gong shows, right? I'm only third and fourth gig in, yeah. All right, Sunday, bump into him at fucking King Gong, only two survive. So, King Gong, three red cards, you're off, right? First seven acts, all fucking mongs, get fucked off. Eight facts, me, I go on, roof job, I'm free. I thought, right, I've won this straight after you go on. Yeah. Do you remember it? We had your uh, skinhead. Yeah. You're talking about not having pubes and that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely Those days. leveled it, mate. One of the best, like, fucking new art performances you'll ever see. You really got to stand, you know. True. Us two, only survivors, right? I did all right. He's took the barrel off. And then Mick, Fer Mick Ferry, like, he goes, right, you have to cheer for you, who your favourite is. I don't know, I'd have to do this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, give a cheer for Jamie. Yeah. Uh, Give a cheer for Stephen Tries. Stephen tries. Bang! All the fucking up. But he went, oh, it's a close one. Once again for Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> can hear fucking cricket spinking, lad. <laughs> <laughs> fucking embarrassing. So I'm like, I'm, I've done well to get second. Yeah. A brutal King Gong. Bump into this cunt. Fucking levelled it. I've like, fucking I'm a bit down in the dumps. Monday, I've got beat the frog. Who's fucking after me? This twat again. <laughs> Did you win that as well? Of course you did, mate. You mocked him up, mate. Oh, mate. Just following you around every Absolutely. gig that you did. <laughs> Scourging your life. Keeping you in the middle forever. Yeah, he was down though. I lost a I lost beat the frog to Rick Carr once. Oh, Polish Rick. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. You're dead? Yeah, he is to me. 
<laughs> but I didn't realise he was doing a character. <laughs> did you? I heard, no, he and then he finished it after he did his, and he did better than me. I was like, oh, fucking hell. Then I heard him just speaking in his voice. I was like, He's not Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find the organisers. We got a fraud here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I hated hated competitions because you just want everyone Fashion to man. just die on their ass. Um, you've got to do them at the start, haven't you? Yeah, it's, it's the only gigs you can get. And then you'll also get that bitchy. Slag everyone off. Yeah, and you got me a verbal warning at work. Did I? Mm. What for? Um, do you remember when we did Nando? <laughs> Nando's the comedian of the year. Oh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> we did the big ones. Um, you won that as well. I didn't place again. Robbery and that. So, but I got Nando's fucking shit chicken. Get to Nabsies. <laughs> You finished third in the competition, didn't you? Got a lot out. Yeah. Got a lot out. Yeah, I won Nabsy's new act. Yeah, I had a fight with a lad in Nabsy's because he didn't give me enough chicken strips. Did you? Wow. Oh, yeah. How many did it, he give you? He, it said that were seven, and he gave me six. Did you had a fight with the fella who yeah. worked there. He was very snotty anyway. I was like, "Listen, lad. Oh, that's okay for the salt. There's, there's supposed to be seven in this box of chicken, actually." He's like, "Yeah, go ahead, lad." Can I imagine kicking you? Yeah, I wouldn't have kicked off over that, me. Five, <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I had to stay over because there weren't enough room in the car for me. Um, <laughs> apparently, so I had to stay over, and I had work at one the next afternoon. So I thought I'll stay over, get the nine o'clock train from Southport to Manchester. Have a blue in that in work sound. I went out and got fucking absolutely wankered, lad, like blackout drunk. And um, it's not like you. I, <laughs> the morning after, I'm like, that oh, fuck this, drank in work, said oh, I'm fucking not well and that. But obviously, Nando's have posted, like, you know, the new, all the pictures and that, Joe on Facebook and oh, stuff. Yeah. He went, You had to leave early to get to Southport for a gig, though. So <laughs> I went, Nah, mate, I weren't, I weren't even well on school. I, I weren't even well on stage. I mean, I didn't even play, so you know, something's out of sorts. <laughs> 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 And it was me, my manager was my dealer as well. Wow. So he sold me like a couple of grams in the day. He went, but I've sold you beacon that during the day. And he's fucking moaning. <laughs> yeah, but he's got to, hasn't he? No. No, because he's, he's got targets to it and that. And it's call and it's dead strict and stuff. Like, he's got fucking targets to it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, um, I I just stayed, I, I rang the hotel from, uh, f- I rang reception from the room. I went, uh, Jay Hutchinson, Got my card details on file. Just I need the room for another day to nice. get over it. Do yeah. You know what I mean, she went, "Oh, Mr. Hutchinson, your wallet's at reception. <laughs> <laughs> a crime's afoot. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on?" Here? And you came in. I always forget my room number. Yeah. So I was just <laughs> trying my key card in different rooms. Security come and got me because they thought I was trying to break in. And um, I threw my wallet at him, and said. Take that as payment. <laughs> Just free me wallet in. And um, so he's shown he chaperoned me to my room. I've went, yeah, there's your tip. Like dead ostentatious, whatever the word is. It's fucking was not it? on your wallet. What was the tip then? The whole wallet? Car- yeah, just my wallet. I just went, no, nah, no, sorry. Oh. Sorry. I gave a taxi driver for my phone. I just give things away. So I was like, fuck it, have it. I've, I've the shit off my back. No, I've money, just lo- no money in your wallet, just Nabsy's vouchers. I've just come <laughs> forth in Nando's New Comedian of the Year. I've the shit off my back. Do you want me, what more do you want from me? <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> and um, so I had to, I went, just take my card out and you, I'll just give you permission to use it. Just fucking pay for another room for the night. Stayed in and the fire alarm went off. Oh. Smoke alarms and everything. Everyone's having to get evacuated. I just stayed in. I was like, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. That's how fucking That's a beautiful way to think. And then um, went in work a couple of days later, got a verbal warning. All because of you. I don't think you can blame me for that. <laughs> 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 fucking fire alarms going off because you're gaslighting, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh, I think yeah, your manager's stuck though, isn't he? There because you can't really say. You know, I gave him two grams of beak. Yeah. yeah. Well, we was on a recorded line. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I would have said to the manager then. Well, hey, we both know what you're up to, won't you, fella? Yeah, but I blackmailed him. Yeah, but I need me dealer. Yeah, I would have blackmailed him for more me. <laughs> look, look, I'm off that now. Did he? Did he ever? Did he ever use manager speak when he was dealing? Or was it there was a really different. It was a proper like chat, the lad. Yeah, 
So you got away with murder unless it affected him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you got you could come in late because I was good at selling. Like, you could sort of come in late and get away with it. Yeah. But as soon as it affects him winning team of the month, so you win team of the month all the time because we were just gobshite sellers. Do you know what I mean? Like, making vulnerable women scared into buying policies they're not... It's like the Wolf of Wall They're not prepared for. Yeah, we were just a bunch of cunts. All about the end line. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. as long as you won team in the month, he was sound. But things that affect you is absence. He's probably making more than his fucking bonus, though, selling drugs, isn't he? Yeah. That's what I mean. What do you want? I just want to fucking... Give me the give me the drugs to fuel me selling. But if you give me too many, I break. Yeah. So well, he's, literally, your... he's literally ruining families twice, isn't he, really? <laughs> 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 selling shit insurance and fucking actually ruining families. Was, was so everyone... out to you. No, it was a sound Was everyone in the team <laughs> on, on drugs? With the all people that he supplied. Oh, we had a couple of fat cunts, like couple of geeks. <laughs> <laughs> the custom, customer service corner, we called them. Nice. Because it was nice. Yeah. He went, oh, I've got a problem with my policy. You've not covered me for this. I'll speak to Mary. She'll fucking sort you out. Get off my phone. You're costing me five quid for a breakdown cover. Nice. Do you know what I mean? That's the, that's the brutal world you live in. <laughs> I miss the sales world. Oh, I, don't, I, couldn't, I couldn't work in that me. Oh, I couldn't go back to it. You ever had any shit daytime jobs? Um, I I delivered leaflets for a, a little while. Do you know, like um, take you get takeaway? Le- I used to get a thousand of them a day. I you, uh, did you did you get what did you get paid? Thirty pound. You got thirty quid a day for the whole thousand. thousand yeah. Did you deliver them all? Or? I did. I did most of them, and then uh, a few were just <laughs> just <laughs> in the bin. Me and my mate uh, Joel Barlow, shout out. Um, we got a job when we was thirteen. Uh, he's a big guy, right? Um, and they delivering takeaway leaflets for Malik's in Openshaw. Um, and we got paid in burgers. <laughs> they just give us tea. Is there any jobs going? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I've done that for my uncle once doing doing leaflets, but I just lashed them all. In oh, me. yeah, we fucked them Lashed them in my yeah. room. And we, we, come, got, we, we got got sacked. Buddy found them like a few <laughs> We got sacked. Because yeah. we put them in a skip and they found him. Oh, God. Rocky moved that. Line yeah. manager. You've yeah. got to fucking eat them or something. <laughs> Get rid of the evidence. <laughs> Sitting there just like that. Don't eat your now fucking Jesus. burgers, lad. <laughs> oh. I had a tracker on, on me. that They gave us trackers so we couldn't... Fuck off. We had to, get, we had to follow a route, it? yeah. And then someone would be sitting there checking yeah. it. He'd, he'd call me up sometimes and say, oh, you've you've just missed out a road. And I'd have to go back and... Oh, my God. Yeah, was, God. 30 quid. Horrible. What did you spend the thirty pound on? Uh, Do you remember up, back then? Uh, went to. I was quite old when I did it. To be fair, so. <laughs> 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 you choose being a uh, being shit like me. Yeah, yeah. It really has. <laughs> I was. Uh, what was I doing? I was eighteen when I did it. <laughs> so yeah, I old. went to uni and then uh, just didn't really spend it there. I didn't even go out of uni. Did it go out? No. Did you go out? I was too pathetic. If you saw what I wore on like freshers. On the first night of Freshers. Oh, you did look like a gimp like when I first met you. Oh, it was, it <laughs> was terrible. You had the head and that. Proper big potato head and that. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think I'd hit White puberty. shirt, light blue jeans and white trainers, didn't you? Uh, no, worse. I, I, had, uh, you, I always remember what you were. <laughs> I, had, I, had a, I think it was like a, a blue navy blue long sleeve shirt and I had navy blue jeans and then like really smart black shoes, like funeral shoes. Oh, no, did you think? Oh, oh it was no. terrible. I'd heard so many stories about doormen. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, what, yeah, that's yeah. what happened to me when I was younger, when I yeah. started to go yeah, out. I, I, to, yeah, I used to I, wear like a shirt and tie in it. Just go out, so we made to be in t-shirt and jeans, and I'd be like, oh, I thought the doormen knocked us back here. Yeah, I just yeah. carried on wearing it. Yeah. I went through a skinny tie phase. I wore, oh, I, wore no. a, <laughs> I used to wear a skinny tie in a trilby. Photo here. Oh, God. I'll put it in. I've God. seen that photo. Skinny tie in a trilby. God. But I used to, I used to, no Neo. Yeah. I, I base a lot of my life on him. <laughs> <laughs> on who? Neo. From the Matrix. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, I thought you meant Neo from I, the Matrix. I thought that as well, I dude. was like, trench coat Jamie wearing a big fucking black <laughs> trench coat like that. I was like, that's outside Nabsies. No, because I used to dance like Neo. You've, oh, you used to dance we, like Neo. You've heard that, haven't you? Everyone used to say, oh, watch out with Jamie Hutchinson. Fuck off, lads. He dances like Neo. <laughs> did, back in the didn't day. say the second part. <laughs> 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 I, I heard rumours people were getting oh. warned 
watch out for Jamie Hutchinson. He dances like Neil. And I'm like, what could they think? Why would they watch out for me? Oh, it must be because I dance like Neil. Oh. Do we have like a video to put in now? <laughs> 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 so I did like the Hutchie Shuffle and all that. It was fucking legendary. Oh, Hutchie Shuffle? How does that differ from a normal shuffle? Um, it's me doing it. Nice. <laughs> it's the pa- the tricks in your laterals. I'm all am- I'm all hamstring. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It no. looks like my ankles are doing the work. But no. That's the trick. Wow. That's the trick. So I used to I used to be fucking fly on dance floors, mate. Yeah. I was fucking sick. I used to wear these shoes with a buckle on and there was dead there was good there was dead slipper. Nice. And the good thing is on a slippy dance floor, you could it, yeah. you, it, I just used to do that where I keep my body dead still, hamstrings taking all the strain, and I'm just using the weight. So my ankles look like they're flowing. So I used to just skid across dance floors so it looks like I'm not moving. Up to shuffle. Neo. That's amazing. I, I used to go on YouTube tutorials of how to shuffle. <laughs> Did you? I used to spend many an evening when my mum was out, you know, shagging. <laughs> I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd stay in, just on the laminate, just trying to shuffle in my socks. <laughs> yeah. Horrific. Like, like horrific. this proper shuffling, like... Yeah, Joe, when you, you see people the, doing it. Oh, yeah, and the feet, the feet are going, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I could never, never do anything like that. No, I, I, would, I was side to side. I was like a rook in chess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more sexy than that's a rook what in they chess. call. That's what they called me. Yeah. The rook. Watch out for Jamie the Rook Hutchinson. He, dances, his, he, like, da- <laughs> he dances like Neil. <laughs> <laughs> that just a uh, rumor that went around the circuit. For Where? Me. What circuit were? Was this in Manchester? This is all over, mate. You must have heard. Watch out for Jamie Hutchinson. He dances like Neil. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe murmurs in. Uh, <laughs> I could see, it, I could see it in forty yeah, twos. Yeah. I can definitely, I can oh, definitely 42s, imagine that. Man. Oh. That's forty twos then. Best club in town, mate. Like an indie indie club. Oh, is it? Uh, a lot of students go there. They have forty two Tuesdays. I like I do I thought there. you lived round here, me. No, I was. I lived in Saint Helens. Oh, for, Saint Helens, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. And then I went to uni in Salford. Oh, right. So you moved there. And then I then I've stayed in Manchester. Yeah. Um, but 42s is a place that uh, I can imagine you. I, I I used to, mate, when Finger came out, Cortina's debut album came out, that was just like fucking hell. I'd, when 42s just popped off, just like a golden era of it. Arctic Monkeys weren't that old, do you know what I mean? Yeah, just just bouncing. Playing, yeah. And they obviously had Oasis. The kooks as well, the kooks. <laughs> <laughs> they had Oasis, Stone Roses on. And then halfway through the night, they do a little 60s medley. Oh, um, and it's oh mate, I love forty twos. But I went in for forty twos when I was like twenty eight. So what was you all doing the hand jive then? And I looked like yeah, <laughs> off Greece. Yeah, they got your hand jive. <laughs> oh, fuck, oh, fuck, I don't worry about that. The fucking dark entries. The hutchy hand jive. That's fucking kebab money. <laughs> we need some grease. <laughs> hey, you want a hand jive? Yes. <laughs> that's my. Buy me a kebab. That's my defence, Your Honour. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, have you ever been in a club where you just feel too old? Well, when you're in like, four, I was in 42, surrounded by 18 year olds. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm getting that now because I'm managing like clubs and I'm just like, I don't want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so weird. Yeah, the like the girls are like, do you look, do you look older? Obviously, but they're obviously just babies. You know what I mean? It's fucking weird. It's after after COVID and lockdown for two years. It's yeah. that you've just got a whole bunch of people that have never been out you know, before. Yeah, oh yeah. God, they're born in this like 2000 odd. Do you, do, you, do you go out a lot now? No, I've never been now. really a, a big raver. No, I did uh, after uh, oh, after university. I, I started going out more. Yeah, I was uh, I was big on the St Helens scene, <laughs> which is, uh, <laughs> which is uh, rife that. with people. <laughs> that that when I was eighteen, man, yeah. I was twenty one then. I felt too old to be in the clubs because it is just fifteen, oh, sixteen year olds. Now, right. No, it is the the kids that go out in St Helens. It's ridiculous. Yeah, St Helens is like. Different yeah, to the it is, yeah. But you know, just like bars. That's it, yeah. Just there's only a couple of bars. I think there's like two clubs, isn't he? Like that, are they like facing each other or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've, I haven't been out there, but I don't know. I've been out there hands for ages. So are you, are you more like um, a nice bar sort of thing? Take a girl there, red wine. I can't drink wine. What do you drink then? Rum and coke. I used to drink my mum's wine. <laughs> <laughs> She'd ask me to get it from the fridge. Uh, <laughs> what, you used to have a swig on the way back? Yeah, no, <laughs> I'd come back in the room coughing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she'd let me have it. it was Red wine like all down your white shirt. <laughs> 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 I 
So that, that, that put me off, you know, memories of mother. Um, <laughs> so now, yeah, cocktails, I like, I like oh, vodka. I I'm mainly just drink vodka. Yeah, like, I'm a vodka oh, guy. Yeah. Cocktail, vodka guy. It was on cocktails in Germany, weren't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> what would you add when you, you look like you were just a bit of a zombie? I like zombies. Yeah. Did zombie, you? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, when I, when I was on the video. Yeah. Well, something happened in the beer tasting. So right. I was scared, I was petrified. I'm a very nervous man. Sure. And something happened that connects to abandonment issues. Something happened in there, which happened in my childhood. Right. And I brought all these flooding memories of my mum leaving. Suppressed memories. Yeah. My mum leaving, me it, isn't it? leaving me on a park. On a lad's holiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brought the mood right down to be honest. <laughs> How did the beers taste? Well, until the sponsorship deal's signed, we're not gonna say. <laughs> While well, drinking Budweiser. <laughs> 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 Looks like we wanna get that deal. Yeah. Wait, what is the sponsor Beer fifty two? Uh, the classic. No, we're not them oh. fucking gobshites, lads. We're going fucking real, authentic. Nice. Bavaria. Bavaria. Um, what's yeah. it called? Ooh. What? A B K. Yeah. A B K. I think so. Yeah, something like that. A big knob. Yeah, that right? <laughs> <laughs> Tagline. Um, yeah. So is that the right? The beer's called Hell, though. Ooh. So, um, Hellish name with a heavenly taste. There it he is. He can sell. Jamie this Hutchinson, man can mate. Sell. Do you want a breakdown cover that you're not prepared for? I'll sort you out, mate. <laughs> I'll sort you out. I'll oversell you. I'll commit fraud for the right price. You're a good man. <laughs> Hell. What, what was, was uh, what was Germany like? Shit. Shit. Oh. Nah, was it was all right. Was it um, Berlin? No, by um, just about outside of Munich, about an hour outside of Munich. Ooh. In like a small village. Oh <laughs> shit, mate. <laughs> did did work get around Fuck there? all. Oh yeah, the roofy boys had landed, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> No backlash from that, no. Yeah. No, the roofy, because we take roofs off gigs. That, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no. I wouldn't misinterpret it as... Yeah. Taking advantage of vulnerable women. Yeah. Or men. Nothing like that. Hey, 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 come on. Come on. Hey. 2022, fucking grow up. There was a guy in Manchester who, uh, I think it was Manchester. The pusher. Oh, the pusher. Yeah. Who's the pusher? You're not onto the pusher. No. Is it Justin <sighs> Morehouse who used to speak about <laughs> it? I thought you were going to say Justin Morehouse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get in there. <laughs> Have you seen Phoenix Nights? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Who's the pusher? You don't know the pusher? No. Oh my god, mate. Do you know have you heard of the I pusher? I have no idea what the pusher is. Fucking hell, lad. I thought it was well known. Yeah, so the pusher. Yeah. Basically a sp a spray of gay men were getting found in the canal. Canal, yeah, I remember that one a bit younger, yeah, the yeah, news, yeah. yeah. The pusher. Someone keeps pushing him in. <laughs> <laughs> were they were they fully clothed? Yeah. So it's just, it just happened to be gay. Just to know they were gay men when they closed them at the canal. canal Street, wasn't it? Yeah, it doesn't mean you're gay. Yeah, because when they were kissing each other, they would close their <laughs> eyes. <laughs> and that's when. Yeah, yeah. It's clever, exactly. Right? Prime opportunity. Pushing. Can't Who knows? Kiss, One of us could be the pusher. Who is the pusher, baby? Who is the pusher? I don't push. I only pull big fat birds. <laughs> For the right price. If you were a gigolo, how much would you charge? What we're talking? Um, what what forgot to do? Just a fifty-year-old woman. That's it. Is what? Do you have what? to have intercourse or just talk to her? Uh, you have to have intercourse. Yeah. Mm. Like, do you have to go 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 down on? I'm them? afraid you do. Yes. Yeah. Have to yeah. Cuddle. Yeah. Cuddle. She after. seems like a nice lady. Has she got money? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't charge them. <laughs> if she didn't have money, oh, charge if she didn't have money, yeah. But yeah. it don't mean if she, okay. if she was well, a wealthy woman. Yeah, you play I, just long pretend, game. I just played the long game, yeah, and ah, you know, I'd eat, it. I'd eat that out for days. <laughs> <laughs> so then my children's um, children's future is secured. That's very yeah. good of you. That's because uh, you say, probably can't have kids. That's because your granddad motted out menopausal women. <laughs> Enjoy your education, you fucking ungrateful little cunt. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You thought about what about you then, mate? Because I reckon you've had some offers with that no. pretty face. No, not at all. Oh. Uh, no, I actually haven't. It's a bit bit sad now. I had bear offers, me. 
Yeah. I think because people oh, think of bears. I think <laughs> <laughs> the pusher <your> strikes again. <laughs> I think it's because people see me as a project. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I can, you want to save I can clean him up. and Like Kim and Aggie. Like Eliza Doolittle. Yeah, Kim and Aggie. Like fucking Peter off Coronation Street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Percent> gambler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you not, not got any weird deal? Oh! I've not told you about the beans. What? <laughs> the beans? <laughs> right. So... On uh, an episode of Have a Word, yeah, um, recently with Alfie Brown, they're talking about penises and their va- various shapes and sizes. Yeah, and Adam Rowe, um, friend of the pod, committed slander upon thy, on you. Yeah, slanderous. You'll be hearing from my lawyers. Yeah, don't walk by any canals, mate. Um, <laughs> so he went. I saw Jamie Hutchinson's dick the other night, without consent, um, and he went. It's um, it's like uh, a tin of beans, the snack pot version, like a hockey puck. Do you know, like it's it's Sexy food, it's though, wide it? but no length, right? Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I've not watched this. I've not watched this episode, right? Yeah. Girl DMs me, and just goes. So I've got no context for this. She just goes, just to let you know, I really like beans. Nice. So I went, yeah, the class, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> it's not as good. I just went, no, no, no. <laughs> How could you tell she bit her lips? <laughs> Are you assuming too much from this? She went, I really like <laughs> the taste of beans. Right. So I went, what did you do? Like, put pepper on it and that. I was just talking to her about because we yeah. the naturally thing is, charismatic. Because in the past, I spoke about how good I am at beans, at making beans, at making toast. beans. Oh, okay. okay. So I'm thinking, oh, she's into beans. Yeah, I, I could get down with that with a girl who's into beans. But she was just referring to my penis, which is shallow. That is shallow. You're so yeah. more than that. And I'm more than that. Got Thank you. You neo dancing. You know, you push people and. <laughs> 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 Oh, I, got I can't believe his nickname was the Pusher. Yeah. yeah. You know, didn't get creative with it, did he? No. It's very literal, isn't it? And they had a lot of chances because he kept doing it, you know? Yeah. I, but and then what happened? He just disappeared? Or was he getting nicked? So. No, well, th- there's different theories on it. There's theories that these gay lads can't walk down canal paths. Yeah. And they just fall in. Do you know what I mean? Pissed I'll be, like, pissed up, yeah. And the pusher doesn't exist. Yeah. Or the pusher retired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to um Banksy. Banks is the pusher. Banks is the pusher. <laughs> he could be as well. No, yeah. he actually could be. Yeah. Couldn't he? You never know. He just disappears, doesn't he? Yeah. Um that's what happened After to spraying his load everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Talked a lot about banks, is there? Um, the Zodiac Killer did that, didn't he? You seen the Zodiac Killer? I've seen the film, yeah. With God, Jake, Jake oh, yeah. yeah. It'll strike me. Got, uh, who understands film? <laughs> got really scared when uh, when he's Put, in the in the basement. The pusher could be my mum. <laughs> she disappeared too. Oh. <laughs> did you wake up in the canal? No. Did you leave you in the canal? No, she left me in depression. <laughs> In any way, in, in many ways, a canal's a metaphor for depression, isn't it? Yeah. Can be. Can be. If it flows you, different ways, if you know. Th- if you think hard enough. You, you get little moments of a nice peaceful duck landing on you, and sometimes you get a shopping trolley in you. And sometimes you get pushed in for your sexuality. <laughs> yeah. Heavy. It's canals. Not good. I tried to jump in a canal once. Are you okay? In Amsterdam. Oh. I'll tell you about that. No? I'll tell you. Are you fleeing from a prostitute? No. Um, fleeing from the bush, yeah. <laughs> oh, shuffling away from... <laughs> I was in Amsterdam and I had loads of truffles, um, but I overdosed on them. Yeah. So I didn't get the dosage right and all the world was turning into Lego around me. <laughs> and I was like, you know the Billie Jean music video? Yeah. Which I know you're famed for, you love that. Do you know when he stands on it and it <laughs> turns into a light? Yeah. Well, that was happening, but it was turning into Lego. Oh. So I'd walk around and then like you'd turn if I looked at you, you'd turn into like a Lego man. 
Do I mean? I look like a Lego man. I look like a Lego Big fat set on the leg. Thanks, bro. But all the buildings, all the buildings, like, turn from yeah. brick to Lego. Yeah. And I was just consumed by it. And I was walking over the bridge, and I'm like that, because I don't think it's going to take me away. This Lego bridge. What's this? The bar. Oh, it doesn't of, <laughs> the, the bar. Of comedy, which is very low. <laughs> <laughs> the bar on the bridge across the canals of Amsterdam. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure it's going to take my weight. Anyway, and every time... Have you ever been to Amsterdam? Yeah. Uh, do you know, like, the... The, um... Sa- like, canal... Um, like, entries. Do you know what I mean? Like, the back ginnels. Yeah, yeah. The hand jive I mean? entries. Yeah, the, the, the back ginnels, right? And every time I looked at them, they just turn into cobwebs. And, Ooh. And it was just like, don't go down there. Yeah. That's my mind saying. Yeah, of course. Cobwebs. Tour guide. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I, I come around and I'm, I'm on, on this uh, bridge. And um, this, I... <gasps> it was an Irish lad called Dylan. Did I ever tell you? You've told me this story. I told you. I didn't yeah. tell you on pod. Not on pod. was having coke and our, coffee and ours. <laughs> That one, yeah. <laughs> I see this Irish guy. He's I didn't know he was Irish at this point, but he was leaning over, and like this couple, were like, oh, I don't. I went, no, I'll talk him down. I'll talk him down. I went, oh, lad, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. And ah, oh, fucking hell, man, you know, hey, hey, little, listen to me. I'll push myself. I don't even have anyone in my life to push me. That's push the bad you. thing. That's yeah, when the push came along. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I talk him around and he comes off and I went, lad, it's You're fine. It's sound, so I'm hugging him. Was this real or was this a visualisation? Well, this is it. Well, this is it. So I'm hugging him and we make <laughs> a, a, a bond. Right. That has ne- I've never had a deeper feeling for someone in my life. That's beautiful. You know, since Neo 09. <laughs> we, 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 we bond. And I'm like, fucking hell, connection with this guy. Yeah, that's I've Lego, n- isn't never it? Felt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes sense. <laughs> it all makes sense. It all makes sense. And we connect, and we, we're walking around, and we're just having these deep, meaningful chats about our feelings and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, it's okay to not be okay. Before, that was okay, that phrase. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We was okay not to be okay before it was okay to not be okay. Absolutely. Like, Wasn't that a Jesse J song? <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. And, um, we go in this bar and there's a stag doing, a stag doing right, and they went, oh, join on to us, lads. I'm like, I can't leave this fucking lad. He's my fucking boy. And every time I had a sip of a drink, I was like, he was there, innit? I, I look at the stag do, and the stag do turned gradually and gradually more into sailors. Wow. So I'd have a sip, and then he'd have white pants on, and have another sip, and he'd have a white jacket on. Have another sip and have a neckerchief on. <laughs> another sip, hat on. Another sip, parrot on his shoulder. Right? I um, think my subconscious confused what sailor was at that point. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just like this with this fucking Dylan, like, me and you, lad. Me and you, this. Anyway, the next day, I get in a taxi and I'm convinced he's kidnapping me. So I ring my mate to try and find me. And um, we're just like 10 seconds away. Like from here to fucking Nabsies. And uh, the taxi driver charged me 30 quid. My mate was on the door set like that, like a fucking angry mum. Get in! We're getting, falls me in bed, wakes me up at eight, like three hours later. Went, it's my holiday too. You're going to have to, you know, do what I want to do today. So we went to the Irish bar, had some breakfast. The stag they were in from the night before. And, hey, there he is. There he is, lad. And uh, he went, I'm, I'm, I'm telling me, mate, all this. I'm like, oh, this lad, you've got to meet this lad, mate. I've got to find him. This Dylan, he's fucking class. So the stag do go, oh, you were fucked, you lad. You were fucked. So I went, oh, no, I was one of them. And he went, I, went oh, I didn't do anything embarrassing, did I? He went, you had your arm around thin air, just talking to yourself. Oh, God. So I think I tried to kill myself and talk myself out of it. Like Fight Club. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> but I'm back. It's like that. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> and you know what real number one of our fight club is, don't you? Monetize it. <laughs> <laughs> don't walk down canals. Three pound a month, baby. 
Yeah, maybe that's why you like me so much as a producer, because subconsciously- Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You've grossly overestimated my opinion of you there, <laughs> you daft cunt. <laughs> I won't as, try and sort you down off the canal, lad. Has he always been like this, Stephen? Jamie? Jamie, yeah. Uh, no, he's a bit more, well, maybe. But when I met him, he was uh, a little bit more- Sexual. Very sexual, yeah. very neo. Um, <laughs> Neo-esque. That's toned down a bit. We've got a bit more. I had, um, I had a different persona back then, different stand-up style. Yeah. What was your style to begin with? Um, I, I, well, very early days was like deadpan, awful puns on like bad subjects and stuff. Yeah. Like um, there was a something like um, a bulimic in library and someone saying keep it down, something like that. Oh, Just shit, nice, nice. shit puns on. Bad subjects, basically, because it's a defense mechanism. Do you know what I mean? What made you? What made you change your style? I just wanted a bit of quality control. Yeah, on my set, and I'm glad I was kind of shit at first because I don't. I didn't get married to any piece of material. I'm still don't now, so it turns over quite quickly. See now, that's my problem. Married just can't it. let that twenty that twenty minute goal go. <sighs> what what do I do? It was second stand up. Didn't what mean? happened? Yeah, no. you know, still tell us. Um, I mean, you got very successful after it, but yeah. But yeah. I mean, you know, what what what, what happened to the stand up? You know, like to love the game. I uh, <laughs> I I didn't love it. Did you? No, I uh, I was I was very nervous, and then my nerves were just getting like I was building up more and more each time. So if I had a gig on Saturday and it was Monday, but Monday I'd be thinking, oh shit, I've got a gig. I wouldn't be looking forward to it. Thinking, yeah. Oh fucking, I've got to get through that. Uh, because I just thought, oh, I need to be a stand-up comedian. So if I did badly, it'd be like, oh, you're, you're going to fucking stink at life. Did you ever have a bad gig? Yeah. I had uh, I had the usual ones where you'd have to follow a music act where it'd be mainly music, yeah, and then yeah. you'd go on. Wrong set of a comedy. Yeah. yeah. Then I had one where I didn't realise it was a corporate gig at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done them. Yeah. Fucking hell, mate. I just thought... Bad off. I was quite new into it, and... Uh, I did a, uh, I did a, a Christmas party. It was uh, it was in January for these <laughs> for these pharmacists. It's like a pharmaceutical company, um, and they were oh, based in big, St Helens. Big money then as well. Yeah, I got hundred pound for it. Oh <laughs> my god! For, uh, for twenty minutes, um, didn't do twenty. Did about four, uh, but they because cause the company was based in St Helens. I thought oh, I can just do a load of local stuff. Yeah, and that'll be fine. Um, Rob Thomas uh, in the industry. <laughs> 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 but then, uh, but then once I arrived, um, the guy met me at the door and he said, "Yeah, um, basically, there's there's people from all over the country that have come here." Um, and he said, yeah, "Not many people are drinking, you know, because because uh, the there's a large Muslim base of it." I was like, "Okay." Uh, he said, "Yeah, they might not be." Uh, as up for it comedy wise um, oh so giving you the big, just big you, up yeah. <laughs> was it just you as well just me doing comedy oh god so uh, so <laughs> when I, I was supposed to be on at 8 and it got to 9 and the the main like the manager had gone up and uh, he'd gone through like the, the year's performance and he just gave them a dressing down of <laughs> where they'd let oh my god no <laughs> way where they you know needed to improve <sighs> And then oh, the atmosphere must have been toxic. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next guy, he does a he does a reading of the Quran, um, and this is just before I'm going on, and they are not in the mood for me to go up and do comedy because they've just had a telling off. Um, so I get up and uh, <laughs> I start. I open up with my like my first few jokes, which is what is it? It's about being a lost child, or something like that. Oh, looking like someone who's lost the mum in the supermarket. Yeah, so. some yeah, easy like that. Nothing. Um, I then get on to, uh, like, my best bit was a bit about my, my nan thinking a selfie stick was a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to go into a, into fourth gear here and pull that out. Straight get into that. the gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Uh, just people going. Oh, oh no. no. And then <laughs> and I could just see the one table from St. Helens there smiling at me. I'm thinking, oh, you, you twats. Um, <laughs> and then. The, a guy just comes up to me whilst I'm doing my my badminton stuff, and he goes, oh, uh, "Fire that bit!" <laughs> he goes, yeah, "Come on, 
<laughs> just ushers me off the stage. Oh my god, lad. Uh, and then I just stood there. Sort of I'm a, <laughs> I can still be seen by everyone because there was nowhere for me to go. I just slumped <laughs> against the wall. <laughs> just going, that was horrific. Uh and then the, the guy from the St. Helens table comes over and goes, Hey, do you do weddings? And I thought <laughs> <laughs> you can fuck off. <laughs> do you do weddings? Uh <laughs> but that was that was, that was the worst one you had. Then, yeah, by far. And yeah. I, I just went home and I was just crying on the floor to my sister, going, "That was horrific." Look, and then the next two days later, I did uh, beat the frog and and won thanks to uh, thanks to Jamie. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll boost your ego, mate. Uh, That's what I was known for in twenty fourteen. The ego booster. But yeah, that 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 death. <laughs> oh, yeah. you're, you're, you've got Terrific. a good style of roasting, though, isn't it? Because that's when last time I seen you was to roast it down, wasn't it? Oh yeah, the got a good got a good roasting style, I think. I think they, had a good night there, didn't we? Actually. Oh, oh first, second, third. Oh yeah, it was yeah. I forgot about last that. Last dance. Jamie got his revenge. Eh? Oh, got me beat the got fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> fuck off, lad. Okay, <laughs> Only it took me eight years. years. It's okay. <laughs> eight years. Oh, We're back. Uh, I finished second. Yeah. You know. People's champion, really. Gold. Yeah, you didn't have to go for novelty, did you? You just did your act and yeah. still someone yeah, else's yeah, yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, oh, wasn't racist. <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as a guy who... Has he ever seen that? No, I haven't made some, no. Ah. I know he'd be sat on me. I did go. a corporate with him once did at you? Barclays and we got paid 25 quid each. Fuck off. With Polish Rick, Dance Off. Dance Off works for Barclays. Do you know that big Barclays Centre in Nutsford? Yeah. It's like a complex. It's like an American high school. It's got football pitches, swimming pools. It's fucking insane. 25 pounds? Yeah. Black tie do. Yeah, right? but the fella who organised it, he got all the money. Yeah. And just give them 25 pounds. <laughs> so, so Dan Soft got us all down to do like 10 minutes each. Me, him, Kieran Lawless. Tayo Cousins, do you remember him? I remember the name. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, MC Africa Zulu. We all went down and there was a stage there. They're all in black tie. And Ian was on like 25 quid for the bank, a black tie. Nuts a bank, as well. Like, yeah. And an act went on and the other four acts had to sit on the stage behind them on stools. So it just looked like Westlife, not like getting up for your soul. <laughs> um, absolutely fucking horrific. I, I used to do this bit about um, how Manx walk in... In different cities, right? I can't really remember it, but I used to say like Warrington was the Gooch in the Northwest because Manchester and Liverpool yeah, yeah. in between. Um, so I said, "Oh, Manx are dicks, Liverpool are assholes," which makes Warrington the Gooch. So I'm insulting Manchester and Liverpool yeah. and Warrington. Didn't you? Same. Didn't you say Manchester's the bollocks? Yeah, but just because you're in Liverpool now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, I just yeah. misremembered, and then. This scouser got up, like, fucking squared up to me on stage and that. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Yeah. And then Polish Rick just fucked him off. <laughs> and then uh, when he was a safe distance away, it's like slagging him off. Nice. Yeah, fuck off, you know. Yeah, fucking scouse cunts. <laughs> that could be like your, your little double act. Yeah, me and Rick. Yeah. Me and P. Rick. You say outlandish things, Rick just comes in, bang. Polish Rick's the pusher. <gasps> Polish Rick is wow. the pusher. Wow. Well... Are you listening to the reports? <laughs> Fucking Polish Rick's the pusher. Go and arrest them. So how long did you stand up for like a year or two? No, uh, three three years, I think. And then... Full time, like, or just... just no, I, I, I built up to doing paid stuff, like jonglers, 20 minutes, yeah, but I only yeah. had 16. Uh, you paid you? I got paid for that one. <laughs> 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 <All right. Yeah. laughs> well, looks like you're not going to I did the... Uh, don't cast a dome, and once you've done that, you go. This is uh, this is as good as comedy gets. Yeah, that's like live at the Apollo. Do you remember, um, do you remember when you cracked YouTube? Well, I think it was after I had to be um, Stephen Jarvis to be Storms. They just blew up. Was that your first ever video as well? Oh, was it? It was one. It was my first sketch. Yeah, that was good. That's your first sketch. Yeah. Fuck it, I got to a fire there, didn't you? Yeah. Did never really, um, uh, never really recaptured that. But I remember when <laughs> I, 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 you went, you went a milestone or something. Me, like you know, like a, a key number of subscribers or something. And I just done a gig for Spiky Mike because <laughs> 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 we, we got we got a moment was gigging yeah. together really well. 
Well, still do, you know what I mean? There's no um, no beef there. Why are you trying to make beef? <laughs> eh? Just as I off on Patreon, don't mean this beef. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine, it's fine. <laughs> um, I just did like an 80 quid middle for Spiky Mike, right? And I went back to my mates and I was fucking coffeeed up. <laughs> Don't know when I message at three in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Say, you should come back to the circuit, lads. We're missing you. <laughs> it's like he was an ex girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Come back, lad. Come back. Oh. Oh. Uh, Do you, you miss know, it? Stand up, even though you, you said that it was, you never really look forward to gigs. I feel, I feel you like. You still be on a roll at one point, though, where you, you know that you're going to fucking smash it. No, I'm followable, lad. I think because I look, I look so young. I'd go up in the audience and be like, "Are we wanting to do well?" Because I, yeah, look, yeah, I looked yeah. about fourteen, fifteen, yeah, really. Yeah. Um, there's a bit where I did, I did the comedy store in London, and I was the, the classic thing where I came off thought I'd done really well, like it was as good as any other gig, and then uh, off the famous meeting. Yeah, well, Don. Is it Don? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he brought me into his office and uh, gave me a good dressing down. Same. I was <laughs> just like, oh, God, comedy isn't for me. Uh, but then, after that, Kevin Bridges walked in. I was like, oh, this is good. Uh, <laughs> that was the best night for me, because uh, I got to meet Kevin Bridges. Oh, uh, man, yeah. he's my head on me. I didn't say a word best. to him, I just sat next to him. Just nodded Did he along. get a dressing down, too? <laughs> 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 <Probably>. <laughs> He said like that to me, Don Well, when I had me, I got like four applause breaks in ten minutes. I thought I'm fucking home and old there. Yeah. And then the tech went, Oh, Don wants to see you. And the other comedians in the green room were like, wait, oh, oh fucking hell, here we go, get yeah. me big praise. Walk through the crowd, get in Don's office, and he sits very uncomfortably like that, don't they? <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's no they do that with me. There's no <laughs> no that's touching you that. There's no there's no touching you? There's no there's no Table in front of us. Ah, right, okay. It's just like a sit down. Yeah. It was Jamie, Jamie. Everyone's talking about you. And I don't know. Fuck, yeah. I swear it's been going well. You know, you went, yep, yeah, everyone's talking about Jamie. The Neo and, stuff. And I went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I've been keeping my head down. I've been doing all right. You went, no, the the play. Everyone's talking about Jamie. I went, oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't there was a play on in the West End called Everyone's Talking About Jamie. Oh, he was making a joke. Oh, God. You. So he went, I just think that went, so I'm playing it humble. I went, yeah, you know, it was good. You know, a couple of pause breaks in there. He went, tapped his pen on his notepad. He went, going to be honest with you, I didn't find anything funny in that. <laughs> so I thought he was winding me up. Yeah. He went, are you out of these? Do you think you're replacing? And I was like, well, you know. So, you know, getting on Manchester and that, I think I'll hold my own against these. Being polite, but like, you know, I can see some of these faces. Oh, fuck off, lad. <laughs> um, so, and then he just went through me set and he went, I, I used to open with a joke about Easy Jet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, absolute fire, pause break central. Um, <laughs> and he, he goes, What's wrong with Easy Jet? Me and my wife use Easy Jet all the time. Oh yeah, you should, like, oh, you should target easy. Fuck's sake! Look at that, I just oh, went, yeah, just he just went through me set and just picked it apart piece by piece. I was like a battered wife at the end, <laughs> and then he went, um, "But you got great stage presence and confidence, so we'll have you back for another ten. Nice, like proper fucking negging me. Yeah, he's fucking, has, he's fucking haggled. You Do know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you're a fit bird, but you've got fat ankles. Yeah, it's a bit like, like the bit like the Alex Ferguson of. Of comedy there, where he's trying to, you you've got to win him round, and then when you when you get older, like oh that means he likes you. If he says he finds nothing funny, that's <laughs> yeah, what no, say. No, can you not just compliment me, please? He's, he's fucking that's what I find. I just <laughs> get I just get grief this entire time, and I believe it's Jimmy actually <laughs> liking me. Yeah, I, I attack, I attack the ones I love. I attack the ones I love. Maybe the maybe the. <laughs> <laughs> like, especially when they're canals <laughs> <laughs> Joe when you said uh, Granada reports did you ever did you ever watch uh, when they did Where's Fred and it was like oh the, and he's jumping on the Fred in his Union little Jack. red car oh right now yeah the Fred the weatherman yeah and he, yeah it wasn't he though yeah it was a uh, sort of obvious wasn't it when he was going around his little red car I was like, oh. do you remember he used to jump on the Union yeah he used to jump on the wet, on the on the, on the, on the docks oh, why is he doing that lad? Was that with Richard and Judy? 
Because <laughs> <laughs> there's kids on the other yeah. side. Yeah, on this morning. That's it, yeah. They used to have a like Britain. An, like a, a, yeah, a, a Lilo map. with Britain. And he used to do the weather that. on there, he'd jump on it. He'd go, it's 20 degrees in Manchester, and he'd jump across the rill. Like, what are you doing, you soft cunt? Just say, <laughs> just say how what it is. Don't yeah. even bother you, what, you fucking paedophile? Someone should have fucking pushed him in. <laughs> <laughs> is he dead now, him? No. He was a good weather man. Sean Lloyd. He's just slagged off his <laughs> with the reporting. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you need to take a leaf out of Don, Don's book and just slag him. Sean Lloyd's a good weather girl. I like Joe Blythe. Oh, I can't keep up with her. Who does the weather now? The camp one's good on BBC. Yeah, I don't Jim's really, right. don't really watch the weather. You don't, you don't watch the weather anymore. No, not me. Not What's me. your favourite weather? <laughs> My favourite weather in general. Yeah. Um, you look like a drizzle. No, it, despite being ginger, I like, I like the sun. Nah, you like drizzle. No, I don't stop forcing drizzle. <laughs> 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 uh, oh. Yeah. I imagine you walking down the street. Sending you in a music video. I have done that, yeah. You do? I do. Whenever, whenever Staying Alive comes on, it's hard not to. When you're walking, it's like, oh, that could be, uh, what's his face, John Travolta. I can imagine that's, the, that's the best music, I think, in a 70s, it's 80s, it's this good. ghost style. I think that's yeah. the best music. Can I imagine you looking mournful outside of a coffee shop window when <laughs> Coldplay comes on and that, and you're yeah. reminiscing. And when you're on a train and uh, and you're listening to, listening to a sad song, you think, oh, this would make a great shot. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, it turns to night whilst, uh, whilst I'm sat here. Let's go flying the at the speed crashes. of sound because you're yeah. going dead fast and the tree's going past. Yeah. You can't keep up with your emotions. You were in a music video, weren't you? I was, spinning too. Last Ooh. Orders and Brain Tell Suicide. Check them out, <laughs> Vulture Authority. Shout out. Absolutely class acting. Were you ever in a band? I was in a band when I was 10. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we haven't heard this one. A boy band. Right. Me, Chris O'Connor and Tom Frankel. Oh, yeah. Household names now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Called New World Order. Well, isn't, New that, World. isn't that already taken? Yeah. Well, that, I think that's the inspiration by it. But we just sang love songs. Right. What love songs? You make your own or did you oh, Yeah, written our own. Rip off songs. Like oh, written our own. I used to pretend in primary school I would take Blink one of the two lyrics and tell people I wrote them. And then perform them in primary school. <laughs> so you, just, you just admitted that you're a big fraud. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, I hope your girlfriend's happy. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't. She's not real. <laughs> um, yeah, I was in. I was in New World Order for a bit. Uh, we just used to sing, harmonise. Yeah. Um, love songs. We written our, all our own stuff. That's amazing. What What did you do in the band? I, I was like backing singer too. There's three of us. When you were the second back. Yeah, because I was late back from dinner. And that's when and that, and they, decided. They, they decided, like, oh, we're going to start a band, do you want to be in it? I guess you're more of a dancer, though, so that sort of works. Well, that's what you. I mean. I was like, Bez, do you know what I mean? I sang Westlife to a girl once in primary school. <laughs> Which song? Yeah, she's got a little world of our own. I'll tell you things no one else knows. I'll let you in when no one else goes. Do that's my undies. You. Yeah. I'll let you in when no one else goes, my underpants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she just didn't like it, and I fucking remember that she just just swerved me, and I was just crying my eyes out. I used ha to cry a lot in school, me. Yeah, did you? Do you look a crier? Uh, no, I'd well up a lot. But I, I used to just tears be go down. You know, you know. Yeah, I used to be jealous of kids with asthma. Why? Because they had some it. Well, because so you had a little blue thing. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, fucking hell, man. Wish I want I, one of them. Wish I had asthma. They get a look his head. What the fuck? I had to. I had to. school nurse. Over there. <laughs> 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 so, have you let that go now? No, even even now, when I see like an amputee, I'm like, fuck me. But they don't have something, if anything. Yeah, they, <laughs> they have a limp. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to be jealous. Bush's dream. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out swimming in circles. <laughs> no. Someone's <laughs> pushed me in. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hop out of that, can you? Um, true. I I uh, I had to wear an eye patch <laughs> for a bit. Yeah, because I got um, my eye ripped open by a tennis ball. Ripped open. Well, it bled. 
Tom 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 Bloom threw a tennis ball across the street uh, across the playground. Sorry, and my eye <laughs> didn't blink. Like your natural defense mechanism, a tennis ball coming at you, <clears throat> blink. Yeah, yeah. Mine stayed open, so I didn't see it. And then all this green just keep getting bigger and bigger, and it hit my eye, as in the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it uh, cut my eye like that. And looked up, and it's just pissing blood. Oh. And I was like, his eye's gone missing. His eye's fucking gone. <laughs> so, because people kept saying that, I fainted. <laughs> I fainted. Yeah. Mrs. Dean, right? Oh, uh, Mrs. Dean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah she had a proper, you know, dinner lady hair. Oh, yeah, no, Mrs. Dean. I mean. Very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dean runs over. She's got, you know, the famous fucking blue towel. You know yeah. what I mean? That cures everything. Oh, yeah. She's like that on the head, doesn't that? <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, his eye's gone, his eye's gone, and all that. So she rang me mum, uh, who was at work. So she had to come in the ambulance with me, my ma, and she just sees a fucking, like, patch on my eye, blood coming out. And she, my mum's just gone fucking hysterical, like. But what happened is it just cut a tiny bit in my eye. It's like bleeding loads. I had to go to eye hospital. That is a grim gaff. <laughs> eye hospital. So you're hanging it's just back. the hospital with the eye department, though, isn't it? No, it's an eye hospital in Manchester, mate. We've got our own eye hospital. Have you, yeah? Wow. You're out of bollocks, aren't you? <laughs> 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 so they had to give me a patch. Yeah. So I went back in school and went, I'm going to fucking mop up this pussy now. Every girl likes a bit of pirate, don't they? Um, so I went in with a patch. <laughs> How old was you? How old were these girls? Nine. You know what I'm like with nine-year-old girls, mate? I know. I can fucking pull a nine-year-old girl like that, mate. When he's, <laughs> when he's nine. When I was nine. Yeah. I probably still could. <laughs> I don't know, you know. I don't want to, but I could. <laughs> I, I know what they're into, mate. What are they into? Patches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's more like he's six now. <laughs> E6. E6, not patching the middle. Yeah, I, went, I, I went in with an eye patch and I thought, oh, I've got my thing now. Yeah. And the eye patch guy. Don't even take that, Sam. Shove your nail up your ass, mate. Yeah. And then everyone started going, oh, he's faking it. He's faking it. He hurt his other eye. And they kept trying to say, I made up the injury to make an eye patch because I was that obsessed with having ailments. I just wanted to be ill. Sad story. Well, you got your wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm> mentally ill. <laughs> how did your eye heal? Like, how does it a cut so eye? It was just it just scratched the surface in my eye. Yeah. So it's just time. Time time heals all wounds. Nice. I wish we just scratch the surface of that story. Now. <laughs> <laughs> right, you yeah, any injuries? Uh, broke, uh, fractured both my wrists at the same oh, time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. Ab jive, baby. Oh, <laughs> ab jive. Yeah. It was a tough push. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the I wonder if someone pushed me in the back the other day. <laughs> 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 I, was, uh, I was at Centre Parks on a bike and um, going down a hill really quick and this little kid just, just stopped in the middle of the the road and I was right behind him I just slammed on my brakes when I Why did you top. slam on? I, I just thought Look went, after number one first. Yeah that's fuck him. I should have realised. Uh but I ploughed into the back of him. Oh no oh, uh, no I flipped oh, over <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> <else> <laughs> landed on Go my on. landed on my wrist. Are you like ploughed in the back of a kid <laughs> at Santa Parks. Didn't invite you I know so. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah he just he just cycled off. I thought well, you could have stayed around and then uh <laughs> oh, and then I was just Nineteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Nineteen at Sunderpark. Park is boss. Fuck off. It was good. Um, and uh, and I had a, a couple of couple of gigs just after that. And one was uh, at the the five minute open spot of the comedy store. And uh, and I thought oh, I'm going to milk this with a uh, man's like that because I had one in the sling and one in the cast. So uh, so I had the audience in the palm of fragile hand. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And John Bishop came to that one. He just, he just, John, they just come along and go, oh, I want to do a bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Is that what he did to you? Well, you know. Get him. There's been a few. 
<sighs> Tyrone off Cody, he robbed me fucking character act. <laughs> he he did me out of uh, an autograph as well. Yeah, I remember you saying. Fat prick. Only autograph I ever had. What, Tyrone? Tyrone from Cory, ruined. You know what? him, do you know? Yeah, I don't know him personally. Yeah, no, but you know, know the obviously. fellow who works in the fucking garage. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's been there for years. Hasn't he got yeah, any fucking been. ambitions? He's a bit like uh, Tony from Hollyoaks. I thought you were going to say Tony from what water then. <laughs> <laughs> I've got ambitions. <laughs> <laughs> Tony for, uh, he was, oh uh, yeah, is he still on Hollyoaks? Is he still there? I haven't watched it for a Nick while. Nick Pickard. Nice. Have you ever been? You'd be good on Hollyoaks. I'd be terrible. Oh, you'd, you'd be, be fucking good. great on Have you ever, seen, have you ever no. seen that Curtis Pritchard on Hollyoaks? Oh, that With is, AJ. That is <laughs> it's the shit, best. Isn't it? It's so it's, good. Though. It's horrific. You Imagine being the director no. of that. Oh, Curtis from Love Island. His brother's on Strictly. Don't watch it. Don't watch Love Island. No. You fucking knobhead, mate. Not a girlfriend, mate. Love Island's fucking class. Love Island is unreal. Shut up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're like, um, you know, they're sound lads, but they, they've got a part in Ollie Oaks just because they're big names to that generation who watch Ollie Oaks. Yeah, because they've got loads of followers. They'll think their followers will watch Ollie Oaks. That's what I mean. And they're at a part. But then their followers watch Ollie Oaks for one episode, uh, see Tony with no ambition, and switch <laughs> it off. Uh, uh, they're, at, they're, at, they're at the park, aren't they? And just go, huh, nice of you to join me. And like, oh, has mum spoke to you? <laughs> go on, what now? Oh, mate, it's, it's fucking so wooden. It's God, hilarious. It's, yeah, it's Maybe we tragic. should all go on Holly Oaks and, and revive it. I think we should. Oh, that would be good, wouldn't it? Would you, uh, have you ever done it, acting? <laughs> <laughs> what? Could be a Patreon special. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, like why don't we make our own? Our own soap. Soap? <laughs> <laughs> uh, has there been a big demand for that in the, yeah. In the comments? <laughs> yeah. Getting a soap. You could be the love interest. Nice. Someone. You look quite fragile and you'd have your heart broke. Thank you. <laughs> you'd have your heart, but you'd get someone out your league. Yeah. Yeah. And then you think it's all going swimming. The shot, you win them over your charm and stuff, oh, which, you. which I can imagine you doing. Well. But then she like she wants some proper cock. Yeah. Um, yeah. She has an affair with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ditches you and stuff. And how how do I react to that? What? Just like, oh, oh, you took you, you alpha you, males come along. You, you took him in. Yeah. I did as well. Took him in. Yeah, you took him in at night, mate. Well, you, you're just scared. And but you're deep like, down, I, I fancy you. A love triangle. Love triangle. Wow. With me, Stephen tries, and Betty. Oh, <laughs> Betty. Oh, Betty. Betty yeah. Thanks, Spencer. You, um, <laughs> you, you, you just wanted to be happy. Do you know I mean, you're one of those. Yeah. You don't have any bitterness. So. Speaking about love life. Yeah. How was your love life, Stephen? It's fine. Is Good, it? it? I've been with a... Uh, been my girlfriend for four and a half years now. Uh, boring, nothing to report. Yeah. So sorry. Um, yeah, I've never had an interest in love life. Never had an interest in one. No, I just I was always pathetic, and then I got my girlfriend, uh, and then I've just been fine. Yeah, but I, until I, I until my girlfriend, you know. Yeah, did I you ever worried at a point where you're thinking, fucking hell, it's not coming this? Yeah. <laughs> the first yeah. time we did it. <laughs> <laughs> did it. I did it. Oh, it's in. <laughs> oh, no, I need to, I need no, it's out again. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> turn over the books. Oh, uh, uh, did you ever do live shows of your sketches and that? No. Um, no, I just... Why should do that, lad? Maybe, maybe in the future. I feel like I've avoided live stuff because... Uh, Pussy all. Yeah And I haven't done stand up for ages Because I thought I, I got to the point where uh, I was just making up stories And I was like Oh this is This isn't working for me um, And then uh, With live stuff Just the nerves so, I can't so, believe you get nervous I know Fucking hell Maybe I wouldn't be as bad now But even for, for When it was Dan's Last Beat the Frog yeah. I was yeah, really nervous yeah, for that yeah. Was you yeah? Yeah You should come across as normal I think I was I was worried about how Dan might react as well. I really oh. enjoyed the night out after that. We had a laugh, didn't we? I was yeah, playing. that was good. Me and you were piss playing pool. Oh, yeah. Just getting Simon Olmas. Brendan and Reese was uh, <laughs> funny. flirting with uh, some some 40-year-old lady. Yeah. I was trying to keep Simon Wozniak awake. Oh, he was he fucked as well. Yeah. He, he was all fucked, wasn't he? Yeah. I got a taxi on me. Yeah. He was, uh, 
Adam was in a bad way. Yeah, sure was. I uh, grilled Peter Vincent. Nice. For not getting me J- Jason Manford tour support. I remember that, yeah. yeah. Don't get me in. The, why, am I, why am I not doing this, lad? Did it work? No. Right. I had a few gigs off him, but not Jason Manford tour. I went, lad, he's had 40 tour support. There's not 40 acts better than me in the country. It's true enough. Come on, mate. Do you know what I mean? Don't you think there's 40 acts better than you in the country? Not that I was doing his tour support. You had 40 acts, do it. I don't think there's 40 acts better than you. That's the fuck, lad. If there, was a, if there was like a leaderboard of stand up comedians <laughs> on the circuit, <laughs> who would uh, you be your top one? Oh. oh, oh. I haven't watched oh. much Bridges. circuit comedy. It's got to come in being funny, selling tickets, and, you know, being a gangster. Oh, Bridges, I, watch, I watch Kevin Bridges, Bridges on his, his recent show, and that was yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Which one did you go to? Uh, Manchester. Oh, I went to Liverpool. First one. Yeah, you'd, you'd already seen it when yeah, I was... I, I was, was it. Yeah, that was the same day I was on in Hot Water. When you chose oh, Kevin Bridges. Yeah. Yep. Who was the first stand-up <laughs> comedian you've seen? Live? Yeah, yeah live. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Live, was probably, Mac, I think. live was probably myself. Do you know who mine was? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who mine was? Who was that guy who'd done the character stuff? Um, oh, Lee Nelson. Lee Nelson, yeah. Yeah. Sam Warrington, Warrington it was, yeah. Sam Fathering. Oh, it, was that, it, was, it was proper funny. Yeah. He's a, what's his like name? Simon Brodkin. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was he was good. He's got yeah. stand up in his own right as well. He is, yeah. his but I did a talent contest when I was like nine, didn't I? Yeah. Um, patch. Well, I came second to this fucking. I talked about it here before, but I've got loads of new listeners since. Yeah, she means to tell a story again because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Fucking fat bitch beat me, beat fucking singing Titanic. Oh. Fucking hat bitch. And you like the Titanic? <laughs> I like the Titanic, I don't like her rendition of it. Why? Because she beat me. Yeah, but he, can't you respect the, the great crap? Oh, she, she only won because she was fat. Right. Just because I was in shape. <laughs> Did you get into shape? <laughs> for your, for your I was getting into shape, yeah. You don't always win everything. Man, it's fucking... <laughs> it, it was millennium year. Yeah. It was Ponting's 2000. Oh, great. I had great, my little yeah. beige waistcoat on. Sexy. Fucking flu, man. I'll put a picture in here. Now. <laughs> All right, what have you got coming up? Me? Nothing. Absolutely nada. Come on. No, You've got to uh, give us a little insight, Stephen. I wish I had something. Yeah. I, uh, I wrote uh, a sitcom last year. Um, Wasn't diverse enough, so I need to rewrite that. Oh, you need some diversity. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could be in it. <laughs> what would you be playing? I can't be in it, man. <laughs> so I got a stroke victim in there. <laughs> Punch me in there. your sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your love interest in your sitcom. I, I swear you've done acting. Have you not? I have. I've written my own play. <laughs> Suspicious suicide. Coming back. I've written my own play. Um, I've been to acting class. Joe would be uh, really good. You got kicked out of acting class, don't you? I got kicked out of drama school. Why? Uh, um, we had to improv a scene. Yeah. And I misjudged <laughs> what... I'd love you to tell Stephen the story, please. I don't care if they've heard it before. <sighs> well, it was only on Patreon this Oh, week. well, let's bring it out of the out of the paper. So, roll. in drama class in school, yeah. my nickname was Oscar. Nice. Because I went for it every fucking time. Great. And I, I was, I used to write, direct, produce. We used yeah. to like write scenes and act it out. Anyway, we had a drama school come in to like give us a lesson. And this drama school is like La Masaya. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so John like La Masaya produced Javi, Iniesta, Busquets. Messi. Messi. This drama school produced your David Platts, your Martin wow. Platts. Tyrone. Uh, Sally Webster's daughters Rosie Rosa Sophie Nice You're talking big league Yeah Anyway I'm there in the class I do I do this um, Scene Where I've died And I comfort my family As a ghost yeah. I go So mum Dad And baby sis I'm fine now Be at ease Be at peace And they go Oh did you play all of them? And scene. Wow. Right? 
So this drama school are like trying to tap me up. Yeah. Like fucking how rad are gonna after you. Yeah. Right. Like, they're big leagues. Right. <laughs> and they go, You should come out of drama school. It's like, oh, all right, I don't know. Anyway, I can't get there. It's in Oldham, it's miles away. Yeah. Can't quite get there. But I'm I'm getting these the, this push to do drama. So I Google local dramas, right? I Google local drama. <laughs> So I signed up to Kennedy Studios. You know, right. the studio above the carpet place in Jarlston. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you groomed? <laughs> I, so I'm, I'm like, I want to give drama a go, but I'm an alpha male. I can't say to my fellow silverbacks, yeah. I want to explore the arts. Yeah. You know, in case I get accused of being homo sapien. Yeah. Yep. Oscar doesn't want that flying around, does he? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, they people catch wind of it. Went, oh, we'll do the acting class. It'll be fucking buzz out on a Saturday. But I want to take it serious. Yeah. And they're they they they're treating it as like you know we'll we'll go we'll go and run a mock. I don't want to run a mock. No. I want to run. I want to explore what's deep. Can't within. disobey the arts. That's what I mean. True. That's what. I, I, so we join, and they're they're going. Th- so the first part of the day. So we go on a Saturday, four of us, all chavy lads and that, do you know what I mean? Adding a bit of fucking, you know, a bit yeah. of chilli to the seasoning, do you know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's like, it's all girls, couple of girls, you know, lads exploring them, themselves. Um, right. <laughs> so we, we, we go and they're, the first part of the day is they're learning the musical they're already in. Which is? I don't know, but oh. we, we got part, uh, we, we us four, we got part as extras in the musical. Like, oh, you, you can join. Um, so we had to run, slide on the laminate flooring, much like you. Yeah. And we're row five. Well, there's four <laughs> rows of the main characters, and we're row five in the background. Like, we run up, skid, <sighs> freeze. Yeah? Yeah. Second part of the show, second part of the day, is is, is like acting. So like acting class. Yeah. Rehearsal acting class. So we have to improv a scene. <laughs> Each individual has to improv a scene of them getting up in the morning. Nice. So all these like 13 year old girls and that. <laughs> How old are you? 13. Good. 14. <laughs> so they're getting, you know, they're getting ready. Oh. <sighs> You know, brushing the teeth. <laughs> 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 That's brushing the teeth, by the way. They're brushing the teeth, and then they get feedback like, "Oh, you, you, um, you just where did you put your toothbrush? Because you just you was brushing your teeth, and then you're getting ready. Where's your toothbrush gone, Joe? It's like, so imp- like yeah. you got to keep hold of the object and put it back. Do you know what I mean? So it's more realistic. So, yeah. so it's just things of them getting the bag onto school. Oh, I'm tired. And they go to school. Just improv, you're getting up for the day. And I, in front of a class of 13 year old girls, was lay down on the floor, woke up, hitting the alarm, like it's off. And then I scratched down myself, and my hand, hands going with boxes. And then I mimicked masturbating in front of the whole class. For the remainder of the two minutes, and it died not on like you. And it <laughs> died on its ass. <laughs> Did you not think after the first thirty seconds? <laughs> I, I, I had my eyes closed. <laughs> I just thought they were soaking it in. Yeah, it's improv. <laughs> and um, they politely asked me to not come, not come back. <laughs> Acting career ruined. Is that how you genuinely started your day when you were 13? No, but I was just like, you know... Sadly, Jack the lad, wasn't he? I want, I want to, you know... <laughs> Jack A lad. I want to impress these 13-year-old girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Acting career ruined again. But, you know, there's no there's no boundaries to stand up, so I can wank when I will. Tell that to Louis C.K., mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, so on that um, damp squib... <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll call it an episode. Uh, where can people find you, mate? Um, 
Uh, Stephen tries. Although Twitter's going now, isn't it? Or someone's... Elon Musk is getting rid of it. You've got to pay for it, haven't you? Yeah. Ah, he won't. Ruined. What's the new one? Mastodon. I've seen that today. I, I got one. asked to join a new platform. I didn't get asked to join anything. Someone asked me to join a new, remember, join a new, join a new platform and get in touch with comedians. Some, too. some one messaged so. me on Twitter said that uh, yesterday some like fat, fat man football thing asked <laughs> me to come down on Monday. <laughs> so. On Mondays for fat man football. My, uh, <laughs> my mate did that. He, uh, fat man football? It. Yeah. Is he still fat? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the offer, though. <laughs> 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 Stephen tries YouTube, Twitter, and all that. You know the score. Sign up to the Patreon, three pound a month. You get all your, you know, get all your stories about Jamie as a thirteen-year-old wanking in front of. In front and of how I've pulled years. many nine-year-old girls. Oh, are you gonna do a? You could do like a Christmas special. Yeah, live okay. show. Live show. Oh, wow. You? Wow. wow. Hey, you've just reminded us. Hey, Updated to Jamie. It's a plug machine, isn't it? Thirteenth of December. That's what my dad called me. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Stephen Tries might be there. I might be thirteenth. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> Guys, get your tickets. Sign up for the Patreon. Um, and if you don't, have a nice life. Go on, fuck them off, round board. Go on to that. I eat.